Well, you may have noticed blue trees lining the streets of downtown Denver's theater district. No, it's not because the Smurfs are in town. There's actually a really important meaning behind it. And here to explain, we have David Ehrlich. He's the executive director of the Denver Theater District and also the blue trees artist himself, Constantine, Constantine Demopoulos. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. So David, what and where are the Denver, art, excuse me, the Denver Theater District? So the theater district is uh, 16 blocks in downtown Denver, right around the convention center. And the theater district is a media district. Um, and it's in the heart of downtown. And we basically take a portion of the revenue from the signs that you see. Right. And we invest it into art and cultural activity like Blue Trees. Well, I absolutely love that you guys are bringing a series of different art installations to downtown Denver. It launched on April 18th, right? With a series of Blue Trees. What else can we expect going through spring and summer? So um, Khan and his volunteers will be coloring for weeks and we're gonna have activity around that. So okay. we're gonna have um, meditation Mondays and we're gonna have blues music. And then on the 21st of May, we're gonna have a big family day where you can come out with your kids and you can color and oh, fun. Get, uh, get all involved. Yeah. I heard him call you Khan. Can I call you Khan? Yes, you can. <laughs> Listen, Constantine Demopoulos, you should have told me Khan at the know. earlier. It would have helped so me out a bit, Khan. You can actually come to Greece free of charge <laughs> now because you can actually say my name. So very, very way. nice. Okay, let's talk about your artistic style. Describe it to me. Well, uh, I guess it's what I would say social art. Uh, it really tries to bring the idea of how art can actually change the way people see the world. And uh, sometimes I think, uh, in this instance, it's looking at environmental issues uh, mm -hmm. and other issues. I've, I've done a variety of things like homelessness, but in this case, we're doing the idea that trees are disappearing at an alarming rate. Every minute, the minute that we talk here, 50 football fields of old growth forest or rainforest will disappear. Mm. So, and it's a big, those are big questions, but we're trying to try to do it in a way that doesn't scare people off. So, we're so the bring, blue symbolizes. So, well, uh, yes, it symbolizes that there are no trees. That okay. Breathlessness, the idea right. that uh, the, we get oxygen, 40% of all the ocean oxygen comes from trees and from the old rainforest. The other 60% comes from the oceans. So they're disappearing at an alarming rate, an alarming rate of basically the size of South Carolina per year. Oh my goodness, so, so it's, it's but, but you painted the trees, so how do you get the paint where it doesn't hurt the trees? Well, uh, uh, well for a start, it isn't paint. So oh. uh, it, it's, we, the act is called painting, but while we, it's just chalk and water, and it washes off, so within uh, six months to a year, it'll be disappeared. And that's what I like, that the actual artwork uh, ends up right. disappearing. But the concept stays, so social art, what you're doing today, and, and part of it, as I was saying to David, it's really when it when um, public art really comes from a variety of things, uh, and it's not just the artists. It's uh, uh, Nine Dot, uh, Martha, and Molly who uh, initially brought uh, the idea to David, and then David decided to you know go further with it, expand on it. Expanded it. So. I think it's also great that you're bringing your art to local students. Yes. What are you going to teach them? How are they going to be involved? Well, uh, we we go into schools, and they also come to the to the project and uh, they're looking at a variety of uh, aspects of it is uh, when you're uh, what I like uh, one of the loveliest um, acts that I actually saw was when a little girl after we had removed all our brushes and everything came running to one of the blue trees and goes mum a blue tree a blue tree and gave it a big hug ah. because <laughs> she didn't think of the blue tree as, as painted she actually thought that her imagination was open to to mystery, to, oh, to wow. wonderment. So That's she thought wonderful. there was a real blue tree. And part of yeah. it is, that, is how we can actually use color to, to make things visible, which are really invisible, which happen thousands of miles away in, in the Amazon and Southeast Asia, and Northern Boreal Forests of Canada. And the US I love and, all of your yeah, passion. Yeah. I mean, you really are yeah. making a difference. And David, the Theatre Art District has a lot going on next month. Can you quickly give me some of the highlights? Yeah, so we have uh, what we've called Terra Firma, and it's three different uh, art installations. Um, mm -hmm. Basically, Blue Trees kicks it off, which we're thrilled about. After that, we're going to open up an arts incubator inside the convention center so people can come by and have free art installations and, and see stuff. And then at the end of the summer, we have another artist coming over from London who's going to do an installation right by the Blue Trees. So, you know, by August, September, 
all three will, con will converge and mm -hmm. you'll have a ton of art and activity and culture right there in the heart of the city. Wow, you all are very, very busy. Thank you for bringing this beauty well, to our you, city. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank absolutely. You. And you can see Con Demopolis, the Blue Trees, an environmental art installation in the Denver Theater District throughout the month of May. If you'd like to learn more about coloring the trees in downtown Denver and family friendly and free events, please visit this website. Go to Denver Theater District dot com. That's Denver Theater District dot com.